Hello! Welcome back to Jack 3. And once again, we're learning about, again, how we need to shoot these bridges to move them down because we've made it out of the wasteland. And we're very close to where Haven City should be because we gotta go back and save them. You know because... what? Yeah? Um, real talk, I was really tempted to follow in your footsteps with Jack 2 and try to say we should introduce, we should introduce each trilogies. part of Jack 3 with a bad <laughs> third title. Problem is... The third Ninja Turtles film doesn't have an official subtitle, so I'm stumped. Yeah, well that well that's the thing. That's why the second one was so much easier to do because you you could have a bad sequel. I have very rarely seen like movies that get a bad sequel get a third one made. They usually like the kill it after ones, the bad sequel. Boy. Like the only ones that come to mind that I can think of, and even then one of them's kind of debatable if it deserves to be thrashed like that, Go. are Jack the Third and Jack King of Thieves. Third. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, oh, I tried. Oh, I mean, I think, I, think we already, I think we already did the, the King of Things one. I tried to do something along those lines. Tried to. I still. I had. Fun, I had my fun with the second one, but yeah, the, the idea is that like, besides Aladdin. Okay, but okay. Uh, Shrek three. Cinderella Shrek three. Now was. Cinderella had a bunch of weird like trilogies and stuff. I remember that Cinderella. Cinderella three. I actually didn't mind. That I, I hear is one of the, that I hear, do hear is one of the better handled uh, sequels. It will it's handled well, like to, it's, to what some could consider the more safe and borderline boring of the Disney movies. It's handled like a little clip show, like a it's like a series of, of stories following Cinderella and her friends. Yeah. That's about it. Apparently, well, it was that's, supposed that's, to be that's kind that's of no, that's the second one. The third one was its own standalone story. Oh, really? I thought he was talking about the second one. No, oh, oh. sorry, my bad. But yeah, oh, you, you're saying hi, yeah. was it? I'm assuming, assuming where you're going with that. There's gonna be a TV show. Is there? Well, well, not that there's going to be. I think the thing was that like that was that's what it was originally meant to be, like just like a pitch for a TV show. You know, kind of not unlike what they were originally going to do with Bell's Chant Adventure. Right. Or Bell's Chant Castle. Oh yeah. Did you, oh yeah. Did you? Oh yeah. That's right. With the live action and like the stories. I remember that. Oh, did you ever? Oh yeah. Did you ever remember uh, freaking Jungle Cubs when that was a thing? I, Barely. No. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That always kind of confused me. Like, I will give it this. I did like the rendition of Bare Necessities that it had for its theme song. Although that's yeah. partly because I just, I'm just a sucker for Luke Rawls. He's, I think he's a very underappreciated singer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to catch you up to speed, James, it's like an entirely non-canon portrayal. It's, it's kind of like what. It's kind of like what these new Justice League kids... It's basically like, yeah, it's it's, it's approached the same way as, like, Spider-Man and Friends or something like that. Yeah, like, it's just... Take, from, what I, from what I can tell, it's just your typical make a show all the kids are together. based on a pre-existing franchise and just make them kids. And now they're all friends. And who cares if they were not all supposed to be friends? Because, yeah, Shere Khan is, I guess, now a a lovably rambunctious and rough kid who's like you know like he, he'll be he'll be the mischievous one but they're all still friends in the end it's weird how they handle yeah. it and yeah. to think this and to think what came beforehand was a sheer con who was a tight-fisted business who was basically yeah who yeah was basically that was Lex Luthor. now that was odd that it was that, odd but devil damn he was he was one of the highlights of that show I need to watch some clips of that. Did they get his original voice actor? No, they didn't. Um, no, they did because he was. I'm pretty sure he was dead about by that point. The, instead, they got Tony J, who did return to voice him in Jungle Book Two. Hey, has anyone actually seen? Has anyone seen that new dark rendition of like that new like Mowgli movie? It's just called Mowgli. I with, uh, oh the one that's. I has what's his face. I haven't on. seen it yet. In um, the wheel. I find it interesting because. Apparently that one is supposed to be like a hundred percent based on the books, so I appreciate it for that. My problem with it is, again, just going off the trailer. I don't know if they fixed it up, but I honestly don't think the CGI is as good as no. Shere Khan's face looks Shere Khan's face looks a little uncanny valley. They should have gone full tiger. Well, uh, for but for me, don't. it wasn't even so much Shere Khan. It was more so Bagheera. Like his eyes are too human. That's also it. Also, for this puzzle, we need, I hate these freaking rat thingies. I hate them. You know what I hate about them? The the, the way they realistically ragdoll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and down the pit it goes, but at least you can spawn more. But yeah, the way they yeah. realistically Ooh. ragdoll Ooh. the weight Ooh. behind them. But yeah, you gotta push them into the wheels. But I, just, I don't like them. They look weird to me, the way they rag... They Ugh. look weird, and honestly, they don't sound all that satisfying to hit. Like, There's like, weight to them. Yeah, there's a lot of weight. To... It's just, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mince words. That it just feels uncomfortable fighting them. Anywho, 
But yeah, there's Mowgli, that, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, no, in, in terms of, like, movies, like, it, it, as a, instead of, like, okay, apart from maybe King of Thieves, I can't think of any movie where the second movie was horrible, but yet they somehow still made a third movie, and people love the third movie. Well, I've seen a lot I of. I've, it's, it's, Cinderella, I think, is probably the only exception. I think the close. I think the other one I can think of would be maybe if you look back on it, Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Man's Chest was not the best, and At World's End and Black. Well, At World's End. Well, that's just because it made money pretty bad, but yeah. I th I liked At World's End. It at least felt it had more. It felt like it had more to it than Dead Man's Chest. Dead Man's Chest is over like before you actually get a chance to like start loving it. But anyway, um. Are we limited to just Disney? Because if we're talking about, like, media in general, I could think of, like, a good handful of movies that were able to get, like, sequels despite people not liking them. All right, well, uh, I mean, like, never ending story. That is fair. They did make a third uh, one. I was also going to say stuff like Transformers. Um, Trans well, that's, just, well, that's just because Michael Bay's wallet is the only lifeline that thing has. That and Michael Bay's, okay. that and Michael Bay's huge throbbing erection to put Jennifer Fox into weird you situations. Megan Fox? Megan Fox. Jennifer is something is completely okay. different. I don't even know a Jennifer. I don't Please. know where that name came from. Well, she did star in a movie that had the word Jennifer in it. That was probably it. But yeah, no, mm. the, you remember seeing that? Remember that big old thing back in the day when, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was announced and he was handling it and people were like, he's gonna ruin it. He's like, no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna handle it very maturely. Cut to one of the first production photos is of Megan Fox brawless on a trampoline. Well, I don't think that was like a production photo. It was just that's part of the. Actually, no, was, I don't think they really. By pr in I production photo, I mean like it was a photo someone took of it while they were filming. And yes, there was a scene oh. when randomly in the beginning of it, for no reason, they could have done anything. It shows April in the very beginning. Like, I guess it was supposed to show how she's a reporter who's down on her luck and is filming stupid B roll. There, there they come. Once all the enemies are gone, I'm not going to bother hating this thing because as they do have a limited health supply, so. Don't just hit them all day, otherwise they'll die. So we gotta lure them mm -hmm. up the old-fashioned way. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, I guess the idea was that it was supposed to show as if like April O'Neil was down on her luck and having to shoot these really bad filler B-roll, like oh, cutest puppy, as opposed to real news. But the fact that they chose trampoline while brawless, that you cannot tell well, did me. Did they that. explicitly say while brawless in the film? You can uh, apparently there were some women who looked at the thing and like they could because she was also wearing a tank top, so they could tell by looking at like there were some women who could tell. Well, no, like, I don't yeah. mean like they don't I say mean, like, they don't say the explicitly. film was it said that? No, 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 no. They don't say hey jump on the trampoline while brawless. Oh look, more armor to give us our, uh, some more health. Huh, convenient. Hmm. But uh, yeah, now we're ready for some soccer. Shouldn't get us. <laughs> anyway, but Jack um, soccer. But yeah, no, they don't out. They don't actually outright say, "Hey, hey, April O'Neil, do this. Go on in, jump on this trampoline without your bra." No, but but people could tell she had no bra on in that scene, which begs the which begs the question: If they didn't have to specify it, why did she have to? Whatever. All right, here comes the big puzzle of this area, which is we've been wandering along this whole way along these rails, and if you notice, there was a lot of holes in the rails. Whales, the rails. When we get to the top of this place, of this elevator, this dynamite crate is going to immediately start running. So equip your blaster and start shooting every glowing target. You can use the beam reflector to have it bounce between targets, but I tend to not actually do that because it can hit too many targets and I feel like it's not an accurate representation of how much time you really have. Okay, so you're, you're basically going on a pseudo-escort mission. Yeah. Actually, but no, the thing do... about this, this whole set piece sort of reminds me of what uh, Sly 4 would do uh, at, near the end of the uh, Wild West chapter. Oh, I can't wait for that part. <laughs> yeah. But mm. One of us has to do that. I don't know if it should be you or, like, a maybe... I'll, I'll, I'll probably do that. I mean, it, okay. I mean, the only real way to play it, play it comfortably is just to yes. play it on the PlayStation now. Or if you had a PlayStation 3. Have they, have they changed it so that you can store the games locally and not have to stream it? Have they, have they done that? Only for, the, only for PS4 and PS2 games. And I think they only, <sighs> only, only take into account those that are available on the PlayStation Store now. Okay. Oh, and if you're wondering about the timer, uh, they do uh, they do a nice job, which is that timer does actually show, I guess, how much time you have until the cart reaches the next gap in the track. Yeah. So let's get that one. Now we have 40 more. Okay. Anyway, but 
Yeah, I mean, if they could make it look... That's the problem, is I hate that I have to constantly be playing, in which for someone like me who has to constantly check a guide to know where all the clue bottles are, so I don't waste people's time in recording, and that, as I've seen happen in front of my eyes, if I leave it paused for too long, the streaming service actually borked. The audio and video desynced while I was playing the game live, and I'm like, I'm not even... This isn't even on like an emulator on PC. No, this, this is, is no, this is literally be... a cloud service. I know, but I'm just saying, like, why can't you handle just the game? Yeah, I, I, sh it, 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 I think I, th I think the reason why they're going with this setup <laughs> is mostly because, well, again, it's a cloud service. You don't really need to run it off of the native hardware. It's just you got to connect to whatever the service is in general, and that's kind of why. Well, it can only work this way. Yeah, I guess it's so. kind of like how we got re like Japan has the has Resident Evil Seven there as a cloud-based game oh. because I guess the game is so graphically intensive they haven't found a way to properly port it to the, the system. I guess so. Uh, but still, I mean that's pretty much how it is. And Ow. well, I guess well, as we all know by now, Sony just has a huge hate boner against the backwards compatibility. Well, especially for games that people mm. want, just PS4. Really let alone just, let alone just their back, their backlog in general. I mean, granted, their whole pla PlayStation Classics thing does say otherwise. I'll give them that much. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, why no, not? Why can't we have these games on my PS4 or PlayStation now? It's like, have you? And they're like, have you seen these games? They're ugly as fuck. I mean, look at this Symphony of the Night. Nobody wants this kind of shit. Actually, everybody wants that. In fact, everybody wants yeah, it on everyone Switch. Everyone wants it forever. Everyone does. Also, we're about to reach actually the end of Act One. Yep. This was all Act One, but the, yeah. So they did bring that back from Jack Two, and also, just yeah, I get that Sony, but still, like, this is the part where I should say there is actually a there is actually an effort to have a PS3 emulator called RPS RPCS3. And it actually has some pretty decent compatibility so far, but Sly 4, not yet. Oh well, only in due time. And here we Amongst see Toby this asshole again. Hey, Vigor. The precursors use them to build the world. And again, quite the vocal range that uh, Sig and Vigor voiced by the same dude. Mm -hmm. Just keep hearing yourself talk, Samurai Jack. Just as Ma did. <laughs> yeah, you've done a Phil Lamar is so such a nice range. He is. So well, from what I've seen, he seems like just a nice guy in general. Oh, yeah. Of course. We're on a time clock, Jack. That light in the sky. Do you know what it is? Honestly, I can't really think of any, like, pro or well-known voice actors that seem like complete jerks. Or at least none that I've seen. <gasps> he attacked the palace. Yes. <gasps> they are the ones who brought it down. And you're full of dark ego. He's well, a purity oh, nut. Well, shot fired then. Abomination. He's a pure. Oh yeah, I guess now you think about it, yeah, both Dax yeah, and I keep, that, did that baldy just call me a rat? I will be the bright. I keep forgetting. Oh, I keep forgetting that Daxter is technically tempered with dark ego as well. Uh, excuse me, Count Volga. It's Vega. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Daxter. I love his bark. Isn't it kind of nice just to curl up in the shade sometimes? Just chilling it, watching the hot babes prance around in their skimpy little bikinis. You know, just. Uh huh. I mean, barring that, Daxter does have a really good point. But, well, he has his little sense of humor. So, who here remembers Jack 1? I do. He's got a precursor robot, too. The precursors will not have mercy on you. Yeah. Yeah, turns out Gall and I aren't the only ones who can have a robot. Nope, he can too, and he doesn't even get, need to control it. And actually, now that I think about it, this thing looks a lot smaller than the one we fought Ooh, Jack boy. one. But it's that, but it's and definitely it's a faster. Lightsaber. Yeah, using red eco power or something. But yeah, he's smaller, but definitely faster than the other one. So careful. Well, he's well. To be fair, considering his small size, I think that pr perfectly justifies it. Yep. So uh, the fighting this thing isn't super hard. He has again, he has waves and phases. First, dodge the lightsaber thing. Then. Uh, Take out his little shadow cronies he spawns. And then he's also, gonna get mad. Also, it looks like they simplified simplified the oh boy. UI for boss health. Yeah, they did. Oh, now he pulls out his freaking iron giant laser cannon tentacle <laughs> things. Just Wait for him to. This thing doesn't have a voice, so I can't make the joke. I know. Aww. Then as oh crap. Then he's gonna start shooting at you. After a while, he'll start breaking the platforms. Ha! Oh god! Ah! 
Oh. Then quickly jump up here and use the range we have to shoot down one of these uh, grays. that are handily held right there. Oh, how convenient! Dope. I love that its eyes can also emote to be just ticked off. Like, mm. yeah. oh, geez, don't walk off. Well, of course it ain't over yet. No, nope. oh, and he'll be faster. And that's it. Again, you'll be faster, doing... stronger, and anything else that one commer that commercial said about machines. Yeah, yeah. Do do what I just did three more times. I'm gonna heal for a second. Yeah, time out there, bub. Okay. You only need to heal once. I had to heal once, just there. I had to get all my just pips one back. Point. And you already lost you lost that and then some. And I lost it all. Okay, let's just do this. Just blow the fuckers, Jack. Concuss the, beat, the way concussor will work. Let's get some more ammo. Oh, all right. But yeah, that's all. And just, yeah, do not jump on the platforms until they've cooled down. Even after they've raised. Wait for that texture to go away. There you okay. go. At the very least, you do have a little bit of leniency there. Like, once it starts, like, you like, immediately start some cooling down, you can start you can start hitting the platforms. Ow! Ow, stop oh, that. Okay, I'm this, gonna... ain't, this ain't comfortable at all. Oh, crap. Yeah. I think you're about to lose your chance. Hang on, I'll use the beam reflector and see if I can maybe get a lucky shot up there. Huh. Luck be Come not on. on your side, Jackie boy. Come on, go Wait. down, go down. There. There we go. There's your luck. Uh oh, oh. Not again. <laughs> oh, he's ticked. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, well, crap, there's well, going hey, hey, to Well, hey, if it didn't work two times, try a third time. And. Oh, jeez. And Ooh. there goes Jack. What? Ow. Well, it did work the third time at least. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. Wow, this game has them too. <sighs> and that, that's the only reason why I showed that off is they did remember it there. Ah, I don't want to be your stuff double. Again, I still hate the fact that this game and um, Jack Two were so sparse with them. I mean, I understand they didn't want to go as overboard as they did with Jack One, but at the same time, time, it was always fun. They overcompensated. Don't go to light, Jack. Mm. Don't go to light. <laughs> uh, what was one of your? What was one of your favorite one of those things that Daxu did? I don't remember which ones he did. Um, like, while well, you're still down or... there, can you rub my? Can you scratch my feet? Remember that one, I remember. Uh, there's something. Yeah, there's... You know what? Um, oh boy, that's right. I'll say something nice at your funeral. Like, how am I gonna change back now? I remember that. There we go. Ah. Now is it dead? How is this gonna? Huh. Oop. Now and, it's dead. And of all things, that precursor robot had an upgrade to our Vulcan Fury. How? Oh yeah. Lucky. The boy Quite literally, anyway, um, top side and see what kind of trouble we can get since you were making that reference of like the jet of like the Daxter game over screens, uh, now wielder. I'm just reminded because I've been watching. Hmm? This is the arc wielder. Holy crap! It's a straight up Ooh. lightning chain gun. It goes through a lot of ammo, but boy, can this thing take out some people fast. Anyway, sorry. Go, yeah. go ahead. Go Does ahead. Does Ratchet have a weapon similar to that? Yeah, yeah. He had the uh, arc. He had the uh, the the plasma the plasma claw or whatever it's called from Ratchet One. Mm. Yeah, but go yeah, ahead. Like Tesla I said, Claw. Uh, that was just good. go ahead. Yeah, Tesla Claw. But yeah, just you guys talking about like the Daxter game over things. Uh, it reminds me of because I've been watching them a bit lately of the Ooh, game over screens from the Arkham games, where it's like the bad guys would just kind of like taunt you while you're dead. Yeah. And honestly, um, even though I haven't played it yet, a lot of excuse me, a lot of really good ones I've seen were from Arkham Knight with Joker. Two in particular I really like, where he's like, No, Bruce, don't go into the light! It's not fair! They won't let me in there! Aww. And another one that I really like, where it's like, Good thinking, Batsy, playing dead! We have him right where we... Oh, dear. <laughs> nope. Oh, well, that's right. Oh, yeah, but that ugly mug on the radar. Oh, well, we found our friends, but yeah, they're, on the other side of, they're on the other side of one of those gate walls we don't have to pass like we did in the second yeah, game. Mm. Also, Kira's gonna be very quiet because her voice actress wasn't here, and they didn't want to make it obvious right now. Mm -hmm. But Samos' voice, but Samos's voice actor is here still. That's nice. And Kira's design changed. Somewhat. It honestly. Yeah, but yeah, I was about. Go ahead. I was just gonna agree with James. It's like it doesn't change by a whole lot. But the eyes, it's they they, they became. They well, became were, decidedly were, less anime. Well, to be fair, they were making making it less anime out. since Jack Two. Fair. So, unfortunately, there's still a war happening because even though even though freaking Praxis is dead, 
some all these KG robots from that weapons facility have been mass producing themselves almost. And Jack, we're sorry for what happened. We should have stopped people. I'll stop them myself. It was and so bad. It's so it was so bad that Kira lost her voice. She'll talk later, but you'll you'll hear that it's not the same. Come to think but, of it, how many ones does she even yeah. have in the entire game? Like one or not, two? Not not here. And and yeah. in Act Two, she talks a little bit. Okay, I just yeah. remember one um, line, and that's about it. Yeah. And I did want to say like one thing about the voice, but I guess it's probably better left for when we actually do get to her talking. Of yeah, course. we'll wait till then. But yeah, just yeah, her her original actress from one and two did not return. But uh, yeah, with that said, that was the end of Jack 3 Act 1. And the uh, next part, we're going to be actually doing a lot of... Uh, actually, we're going to be focusing on a lot of stuff in Haven City. So home sweet we're home. going back. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Till next time. Animation! I thought, I thought this place was gloomy in the second game. <laughs>